Hello, and in this video, we're going to be looking at how you can get your VEX IQ parts into Onshape uh, to set up to use in some further activities. Uh, we'll be looking in one activity 414, modeling mechanical motion. Uh, so we'll get those parts now, and then later on, we'll set up some different, there's uh, two or three different models we'll set up using these parts. Uh, so to do that, first, I need to download the parts. So I'm just going to click on the resources. So it downloads, it downloads as a zip file. So I'm going to open that zip file once I get it and you can see we got all these different parts we need to upload uh, so then I'm gonna go on shape I I'm already open a new document a new part studio is open and all I'm gonna I named it Vex IQ parts so I know what's in it and all I'm gonna do is import those parts so first I have to go find them uh, in my downloads uh, right now they're in a compressed folder uh, so I got to extract them all into a separate photo folder uh, so I'm just gonna extract them and now they're all extracted so now i should be able to find that folder it's probably at the very bottom here and it is find that actual folder and i can upload all these files so i'm just going to click the top one hold shift and hit the bottom one and open all the files uh, i want to import them into this document into a single part studio is fine and hit ok uh, then you have to wait. You don't want to try to click on stuff before it opens up, uh, but it uploads them all, and you can see them starting to pop up. And you got to wait till it's finished translating; otherwise, it's going to give you an error message if you try to open them too soon. So we'll just let them all open up. And once they're done all opening and translating, all I'm going to do is go in each one and change the name just to make it easier to find. Uh, so like my first one says one gear and you can see what it's going to look like all i'm going to do is what it says the part number if i'm trying to add it to an assembly that's going to be a little more difficult for me to identify however if i rename it one gear it's going to be a lot easier for me to identify and then i'm going to do the same thing down here with the name i'm just going to rename it and i'm just going to take that part number if you want to keep that part number you could uh, but it's going to be a lot easier just to read it warm gear know what it is so then repeat that same process for each of the other ones so i'm going to do the bottom first and rename that way if you're not sure what it is you just take the part number off and it tells you it's a 60 tooth gear so then i come over to the part number and i rename that 60 tooth gear and that's going to help us out when we go to create our assembly so we know what everything is uh, and we don't have to try to guess and identify based on part numbers or read through the whole thing i can just look and see six 36 tooth gear uh, so go through on each one make sure you change the part name and also the part itself uh, so this one's 36 tooth gear uh, i'm not going to go through all of these here in front of you i think you guys can figure it out from here just go through each one and change the name it takes a little bit of time uh, but helps you in managing your parts and seeing what's what in the long run uh, thank you and good luck